rend les choses faciles. Et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile. Hi guys, welcome back to another Objectives. I am here with Elias from Junior Press. They have just launched their second uh, amazing magazine. And it is, it's a, you, uh, have a look at that. It's huge, it's brilliant, <laughs> it's amazing. So Elias, how was it putting number two together? It was actually, um, you know, the stress levels of, of number two were, were, were far less. Yeah. Um, obviously there is always a stress of putting a magazine like this together, but we started earlier this time we gave ourselves like half a year to try and like slowly bring everything together make it right and like figure out what we wanted to do yeah so build on the experience from yes. the first one. Right. yeah exactly and you ran a kickstarter campaign how did yeah. that go it was good i mean um it was uh i think it's more difficult the second time yeah i think uh people are obviously really really supportive still but we really felt like um this is the last time we can do a kickstarter but I mean, we were successful and we recovered our printing costs and um, I think we've already sent out half of the, uh, the pre-orders. Great, that's amazing. Do you want to talk us through the, the, uh, the yeah, issue Yeah, so I mean, we're really happy that we were able to, to kind of bulk up, as, as you said, we were yeah. able to bulk up the amount of pages. And so we've got five project features, but then we added in four um, combinations of writers and photographers kind of responding to each other and then four poets and photographers responding to each other. So we really do have more of kind of an editorial yeah. Um, like shift this year and then we worked with um, a new designer Josh Fanning and so uh, actually him and I are living over in London okay. so George was here like liaising with the photographers and kind of you know starting things happening over here and me and Josh would just spend evenings kind just of like <clears throat> yeah like things. speaking yeah. about the philosophy of the design which actually is became a lot more important than I kind of expected so the design follows like quite a Follows the theme of the magazine, which is freedom in a yeah. way. Um, so yeah, we're really, really happy with it. We'll get it as a project. And you chose to go for <clears throat> two different covers. Yes, yes, yes. What brought you to that decision? <laughs> so we were we were trying to think up of you know what the right cover is, and of course, Therese's um, you know photos from her project Coral are, are really striking and, and and beautiful, and then Andrew Rankin's photographs from his project uh, Real Life Superheroes are these kind of like real abstract but they feel like real life but they're not and, yeah. and you know we were just trying to decide between the two images mm. and then when we, we we had a new design file and we saw them both beside each other and we said they both work together so well this might be too bright this might be too dark so i think together they really hold each other up is that great I, I, yeah, they do side by side it's yeah, amazing yeah so guys you have to buy two copies <laughs> <laughs> it's a good sales time <laughs> or have a hard decision i don't know um, yeah no, it's super it's, it's brilliant mm. congratulations well done it's, it's an excellent uh, yeah. an excellent uh, publication <laughs> and that's already their second uh, of junior uh, magazine they also have the vip or rip 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 um limited edition magazine as well so you can find them in the library projects and um also the gallery photography yes and we're stopped in there now we are sending issues up to belfast exposed right. in belfast we have issues going to cork photo yeah. and also a number of other galleries and we have 200 of these have been sent to london Wow. So that I can start then trying to get a distributor over there, trying to get into shops more internationally. So, yeah, um, for the next one, mm -hmm. yeah. issue three. Yeah. Are you considering issue three already? <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean, we actually got okay. into the gallery on Sunday. We were sitting here, yeah. George and I, and uh, we started um, talking about what we want number three to be. <laughs> we hadn't even released number two, and we, we, we were trying to get the next, uh, the wheels turning for the next thing. And actually, we, we, have, um, concept. we have the next... We have something coming up for in, in a couple of months mm. that um, we are kind of excited about that will kind of fill in the time a little bit okay. and uh, trying to develop this um, sense of community and, and learning together. Yeah. So um, we'll be we'll be announcing more in, in, in the coming month or two. So you guys are here, here first. <laughs> we're here first. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, well we, good luck with that, uh, and uh, look forward to uh, issue number three coming. Uh, yes. Hearing about it soon. Same. And guys, <laughs> check check out number two first of all. It is really beautiful. It's huge and <laughs> it's really beautifully put together. The paper is lovely. The, the yes, production actually, is gorgeous. My whole room gorgeous. smells like the magazine and I could yeah. be happier honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Okay, thank yes. you very much for chatting to thank you. Thanks okay. for talking to Talk to you soon guys. Thanks. Bye -bye. <laughs>